Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the interview. My name is Juice Box Guy. Joining me is uh, going to be DJ, and uh, I am also going to be joined by my man, Palm Go. Palm Go, how are you going to explain that beating to your children one day? <laughs> uh, well, my jungler really likes Ashy, so I pick Ash. That is a great explanation. Uh, now, I I'll do a more serious question, so... Do you guys actually like consider Vi to be like a legit good pick, or is it something that you guys just kind of wanted to have fun with and were bringing out for the game too? Uh, I mean, there were a fair few junglers banned in that game, and I, our jungler likes playing it. I think it's a solid like kind of tier two jungler. Like if if the really if the ones we think are really good are banned, or we don't want to play them for whatever reason, I think Vi is a solid pick. She's good. Gotcha. Well, that's good to hear. Um, so we saw the Ash come out from you twice. You've got that Vi pocket pick. Talk to me about Papa Francesco's performance in game two. Does he play the Ken in that often? Because I know he's often put on some more weak side carries as a lot of focus mm -hmm. goes to your guys' bottom lane. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like a completely new pick. He's definitely played it a few times. And I think he did really well. I mean, I think that's why that game was kind of a little bit of a stomp is just when you're playing at strong side on one side of the map and your weak side just wins anyway, like mm -hmm. that happened, then it's kind of just GG. Like, I don't really know what you're supposed to do at that point. It's really good. So you're coming off a 0-2 loss for them two weeks ago. Did that have anything mm -hmm. to do with this game? Like, were you guys coming in with a vengeance or is that just sort of something that happened bygones, but it's time to play this game? I mean, I don't know if I would call it a vengeance, but... Last time we were definitely underprepared, I would say, and so we spent a little bit more time preparing, and we definitely learned some things about their team in the last time we played them that we used to, I think, good effect in the drafts for this game. Gotcha. Just a little bit of extra preparation, clearly going a long way after just destroying them in two games. But one question I want to ask you, Palm Goat, is I think last season you finished uh, in the uh, second team of the season, uh, Trinity finishing in first team. You are far and away the the leading kda player in the league so far you've been smurfing every game i think it's somewhere around nine kills per game seven assists you know have you been motivated to try to to step it up for this team this season and get to that tier one because you and birdman have just been absolutely destroying people all season yeah i mean i've been i think that we can do a lot better than we did last season and uh my support, Birdman and I, I think, have been playing pretty well, so I'm glad that it's being reflected in our games, and I uh, hope that it continues. So let's move on to talk about some of the other teams in the leagues. Like, you know, obviously, you guys are currently sitting in like that that fourth place position. Uh, I think you actually have lone control over that position. Over about the three teams that are ahead of you in the standings, you have Glaive, Amethyst, Takuma Glaives, and Vlad Banners on only. Are any of these teams someone to worry about or, you know, are they just going to be nice stepping stones on your way to a title? Uh, I definitely think the first place team we played against them, I think they're really good. Um, Glaive Amethyst? Yeah, Glaive Amethyst. Thank you. I always get those two teams confused because they're both called Glaive. But uh, Glaive Amethyst, I think it's definitely scary. And I think it's... It's definitely going to be, if we go up against them again in playoffs, it's going to have to be us as the underdogs. I think it's winnable, but it's definitely going to be really hard. VBO and uh, and Akuma okay. Glaives, I think, are definitely challenges as well, but they're much more, it's much more winnable, I would say, than Amethyst Glaive. Amethyst Glaive is by far the strongest team right now, I think. All right, Palmgo going to be confirming maybe Doctor's tier list putting Glaive Amethyst in a tier of their own. Um, you know, so we, we've seen some of the focus. If you do go up against these teams, do you guys think your strategy will be to continue to focus on bot lane? You know, will you get off this ash pick and get onto more of a carrier? Do you think Rosero needs uh, a, a lot of that attention to help the team around the map uh, when you go up against these teams and, and what's likely to be a playoff appearance for you guys later down the line? I think that really, I think one of the advantages of us having played together, maybe not in the exact same team, but We've played together for quite a while, the five of us, on and off. I think one of the advantages of that is that we can be flexible and try to adjust our game plan based on what we think will be good against the enemy team. So I think if there is 
if there are drafts or teams where we think that playing through top or picking a really aggressive mid or picking something that scales bot, I think that we do have the capability to pull that out. It all just depends on what we think is good in the meta and what we think is good against the team that we're playing. All right. Well, that makes sense to me. And uh, final question uh, before is do you have anything that you want to say to any of your fans that are uh you know some of the yo boomer supporters uh set 99 big fan love you and uh keep supporting us all right well thank you so much for this interview and best of luck in your future game so we are going to go ahead and throw this back to the analyst desk pongo you were you are a treasure to the league and we hope that you continue to perform at a very admirable rate but in the meantime it is time to go back to dr and net so take it away gentlemen and maybe set us up for game two